What's up everybody, it's Lethal Air. Welcome and welcome back. In today's video, I complete the No HUD challenge on my first try in solos and I get a victory royale. Believe it or not, I use this aim training course for about four hours a day and then I practice building for another hour. So before I even get into a game, I've already had five hours of practice. And while you may not wanna practice for that long, 10 to 15 minutes is definitely better than nothing. As per title of the video, I do wanna address something with you guys about the comments. And in my opinion, there is no good or bad comment. If you like the video, if it helps you out, I love seeing those, but constructive criticism and people that disagree, it's not a negative thing. However, if you do disagree and there's no fact behind it, there's no proof, then I'm gonna call you out on it. And so this is sort of what happened yesterday. Before we get to that though, please make sure that if you're subscribed with notifications that you have noties enabled for all of my upcoming videos, that way you don't miss a beat. It definitely makes my day as well to see so many likes on my uploads. If you haven't already, please do that. Thanks so much. So I know a lot of you haven't seen this RGB aim dot before. And for those of you who remember me doing a tutorial, I'm gonna put a link in the top right of the video. Unfortunately, you can only use this on PC, but if you have a gaming monitor and you're on console, a lot of gaming monitors come with sites built in that overlay your screen. That way you can disable your in-game reticle. For me, I use this because the reticle in Fortnite throws off my aim. The bloom indicator is just too distracting. So if you're on PC and you wanna give this a try, link in bio. Also, if you're on console, I'm gonna link you to hipshot. Now, without further ado, let's get into my main topic. Yesterday, I uploaded a video. My previous upload was a tutorial on building strategies to outplay your opponent or outbuild your opponent. Once again, I have no issue with people disagreeing. Feedback is feedback, and it helps me to make better videos in the end, whether it's good or bad, positive or negative. I should make more examples of why these things work, and that's opened my eyes. So. Let's just say down here, you try to block me off because both these builds take the same amount of time. Believe it or not, even if they had the jump on you by a moment, you still have more height to make up for it. This strategy is immune to being ramped off simply for the fact that you're gonna be closer to the grid line when you jump to place this platform. If they try to ramp you off, in most cases, you'll be placed on top of it. Also at this point, they still have to get off of their ramp, so you'll have a major height advantage. And if you have an issue with your opponent getting a huge jump on you all the time, the problem isn't with this strategy. The more mechanical skill and speed that you have, the better this will go for you. It's all about muscle memory and training. The more you practice, the better this is gonna get. I never said that it was easy. I just said that once you learn it, you can easily outbuild your opponent. Don't expect to practice this and instantly see results. It's something that you might have to work on a couple days or even a week. And if you have decent timing, you'll definitely be able to do two of these, but with perfect timing, you can do four or more hops. And that's with absolutely zero jump fatigue. What I just did was sloppy and it wasn't even smooth. What can I say? I have high standards. So if you wanna check out that video and you haven't seen it already, I compare a lot of the variations of this build. This is the fastest one. And I'm gonna go up to the top once again so that I can debunk any type of opinion that you're gonna get destroyed doing this. Sin Bugga does this and he destroys Tifu in a 1v1. Don't get me wrong, I'm a huge Tifu fan. He's one of the best Fortnite players in the world, but this strategy is insanely good and if it can work on him, it can work on anyone. I'm also willing to 1v1 anyone to prove this. No edits, I'll upload it whether I win or lose. So if you want the smoke, hit me up. And on a lighter note, I really miss you guys. I know I haven't streamed in a minute. I've just been trying to get this video editing down so it doesn't take days and that way I can get one video done a day. But I'm getting closer and closer to that sort of schedule. I'm becoming more and more of a competitive player these days and it's really hard to compete while streaming because my PC just doesn't perform that well. I have to split the capability between gaming and streaming. Streaming takes so much that my gameplay is not that great. So as soon as I get a PC, even if it's just a cheap one, simply for streaming, I can finally stream and show you guys what I'm made of and then I can do 1v1s and all sorts of things. It'll just be a better experience for all of us. I'm basically gonna build a $3,000 PC, but instead of buying it pre-built, I'm gonna build it myself and hopefully cut down the cost by about half. 
I know where to get a lot of stuff. A lot of good things are on sale. If you're trying to build a PC or you're upgrading to mouse and keyboard, that's kind of what I've been making these videos for. The next video I will upload will be using the building strategy. It's gonna take a little bit longer because I have to actually compete in pubs to get those clips. So instead of doing Team Rumble, I want to actually do solos and solo squads and get those clips for you guys. But take my aim training course and practice that. If you have any specific courses that you want made, I can make you a course and publish that, put it on my channel as a video. A lot of you guys have been asking me to make videos with you and I've just been working on my own. But now that I have my videos down to less than 24 hours, I'd be happy to work with you guys. If you wanna make a video together, just hit me up. I have a lot more free time now. And before I forget, I'm gonna show you guys how to use the aim dot. Basically what you're gonna do while you're in game, hit the windows key, make sure you have it pinned to your taskbar. You're going to click on that and click your screen right away. Click your game screen right away, it'll pop up. If you tab out of your game, then you're gonna have to close the app and restart. But you can use it in full screen. I just wanted to point that out. It's actually very simple. Once again, I'll reiterate that it's not illegal. It's not gonna get you a ban. You probably won't be able to use it in any LAN event, but for all other purposes, go ahead and knock yourself out. I had a lot of fun making this video. Without further ado, here are the clips from my No HUD challenge. Not a full gameplay, but just the clips where I got into a fight. So enjoy. One thing I'll say about the No HUD challenge is don't try to do it with new keybinds. pretty much know you've won a game when it's a 1v1 and the opponent is too scared to come down. But if we're being honest, I was in pure panic mode. I had plenty of mats, but because of having no HUD, I had a campfire and I just couldn't find the time to place it. So I hope you enjoyed that. That's pretty much gonna wrap it up though. But before I close, if you're not following me on Twitter, I would like that all of you who have social media, please go over to my Twitter. I'm gonna link that in the bio. Good news, and it has to do with the battle pass. I will be doing some future giveaways. Now that you can gift the battle pass, that's actually perfect. I wasn't able to do a lot of giveaways when I was saving up to build this first PC. It was very important, I got everything I needed. But also understand what it's like to not be able to participate. Everyone has skins in the battle pass. So as soon as I have my second PC built, we will resume doing giveaways probably monthly to start. And my hopes is that eventually we'll do one a week. It was very unfortunate that I had to cancel all my plans for the summer tournaments and things, but I really had to take care of this setup and get everything that I needed. Also, I had some stuff going on IRL that I don't want to disclose, but now that those things are done with, we can get back to some of the normal things that you guys are used to. Also, I want to say, stay away from drugs, be good in school, don't get grounded because if you miss my tournaments, that sucks. But you can prevent that right now. I'm just letting you know. I know it's tough sometimes to live with parents. I don't know who I'm talking to exactly. I just wanted to put this out there. On another note, before I go, I do have LTL merch. I have screenshots. I will send you those screenshots, but please, 
follow me on Twitter. I'll also leave my Instagram, but I'm not using Instagram for a lot of gaming content anymore. However, you can still message me there if you want to get a sneak peek at LTL merch. Hopefully, we will have something in the store that you can order by December. Now, I haven't settled on a price, but what I will say is if you're an LTL clan member, then you will have something personalized with your name on it. We're gonna do beanies, hoodies, t-shirts. I'm gonna try to get sweatpants. We'll see. But the rest of you guys have a good one. If you wanna try out, DM me for those details. Peace.